imagine you are in a survival situation. You are complete alone and lost in the wilderness. No signs of civilization around you. Everything is fine, of course the situation is bad, but you know a few plants where you can eat some berries and you create for yourself um, shelter out of natural materials. So everything works, you came from one day to the next one, but then one day something happened and you know you can die complete alone in the wilderness because of this. You hurt yourself and you have a wound which is bleeding and there is also dirt inside. And you know when you get now a sepsis, you will die completely lost in the nowhere. So what to do? My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft and today I want to show you a special mushroom which can easily be found from everyone and this mushroom has some positive health effects which can really save your life in a survival situation. And of course you can also use it when you are not in a survival situation. If you are interested in this great mushroom, feel free to stay tuned. Do you know from which bark, uh, from which tree is this bark? It's from the beech tree. And if you don't know the beech tree, I want to tell you a few quick details about this tree because it's also great if you find a beech tree in survival situations. Because this here is an older part of the bark, but when you find younger parts, you can just remove the outer skin and then you have very fine bark pieces. Okay, this here is too old, but you can start a fire very easy and quick with this bark. You can use a fire start glass or a lighter or fire steel, whatever you want. It will burn, burn um, in a short time with this bark. And the wood can also be burned if it's still wet which is great. And if you don't want it, other people can see you, use for your fire um, beech tree wood, because this, is, this doesn't smoke. Um, when you have a wood which is full of resin, like pine tree or spruce tree, you will have a lot of smoke because of the resin which, which is included, but not by the beech tree. So these are only a few facts beside. And the mushroom that I want to show you today also grows at a beech tree. Here you can see these beautiful mushrooms. And imagine this fact. 1991, two hikers in Austria found a mummy. It was called Ötzi. Ötzi is a 5,300 years old mummy which was frozen in the ice and imagine what he carried with him this mushroom so this is a knowledge that we know now it was also used in the stone age and just imagine what kind of healing knowledge the species must have there that they can help themselves with a healing mushroom and we would be very silly if we don't use it yet and still uh, spread the knowledge about this mushroom and other healing plants because it's in fact very 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 old this knowledge and we should still use it. Like the name says beach pouring this mushroom only grows on beech trees and it is a parasite. That means it grows on ill trees or at dead trees. Also when they lay at the ground and begin to rotten, they grow there. And the beech tree also grows another healing mushroom which is called chaga. But uh, this is something for another video. Okay, so before I talk about the healing effect, 
I want, I want to tell you how you can identificate it. As I told you, it grows only at beech trees. And when it's young, it has such a shape and it starts to grow when it is complete white. When it gets older, it starts to browning like here. And like you can see it here, dark brown here at this part where it grows out of the tree and softer brown here at this side. And when it's young, it's very soft to squeeze. When it's older, it's harder. Here it has a touch like leisure. And when it rains, it's never slimy. So if you collect it after rain, it should be not slimy. And here at the um, underside, there is always white, never brown. Also the old ones like this here, never brown, always white. So here we have two younger ones and they are not directly for the kitchen. So they are edible, they are not poisonous, but they doesn't have a good taste and they are always from the consistence very hard and a little bit like chewing gum, so <laughs> not so fine. But you can use it as a tea or other um, possibilities. But we talk about this and now we just catch one. Two of the great things how you can use this mushroom is that it works antiseptic, antiseptic and also stops bleeding. And now you maybe think that these are the usings for what Ötzi had carried this mushroom, but not. It works not only out of your body, it works also in your body. And like I told before, it's uh, just imagine what kind of knowledge they had in the Stone Age and how they could know that it works in your inner body in different ways. It makes me speak less, really. I cut it now to look how it looks inside. They found out that Ötzi carried the birch pollen because he was fighting against um, parasitic intestinal worms and it's called whip worm. And this worm can be cured with polypollenic acid, which is one of the substances which is contained in the birch um, spore. And this is just great how they found it out that Ötzi used this this mushroom against this illness. Here in Germany, do not many people know this mushroom. I have no idea why, because in China and also Russia and the countries around Russia, they have used this mushroom for so long and still use it. And it is just a part of their medicine. And here, people don't know it. How is it in your country? Do you know this mushroom? and also his healing effects. So it's time to remember all those important medicine knowledge which are used our families and friends ages and ages before and the generations before us and their generation before them because it's not always the pretty one to go to a doctor because sometimes when it is not a bad illness you just can help yourself and help your body with the healing effects of everything we found in nature. But of course when something is very critical always go to the doctor. But I'm just a friend for use everything what is in the nature for small medicine problems. The birch bonds include a lot of vitamins. So I just cut it open and it's very wet inside. It has the vitamins B, C and E drin, E inside and also the provitamin beta carotene and minerals such as iron, phosphorus, chopper, selenium and potassium. And it contains the antibiotic piptamine. And this is what I told you before, which we can use also in survival situations. 
So they called a lot of stuff how the mushroom can heal. I just try a few at my own. It helps great when you have stomach problems like um, digestive problems, bloating and just stomach age then it works really really great. The birch falling doesn't like other mushrooms in his area. That means he spreads something what stops other mushrooms from growing. And you can also this, use this in your body if you have a problem with fungus, so um, mushrooms anywhere, maybe in your stomach area, you can also use this mushroom. And imagine you are in the survival situation and you have a wound, it, stop, it, it doesn't stop bleeding, just cut it like this and press it to the wound and it will help your body to stop the bleeding and also works anti, um, anti-phlegmatic, antiseptic that it kills all the bacteria and help your body to heal. So here can you see the mushroom in all the different stages. You can see one perfect white, then over them is this brown one, which is the old one. So if you have also fresh one, don't use it, only when you are in a survival situation. And then there is a small ball, ball below and over them, which is a fresh one. So and like I told you, this mushroom heals every gastritis and also gastric ulcers, everything which is in your stomach area, uh, because it is anti-inflammatory. And uh, they told me, I don't know because I don't try it, that it works also for your hair, that they grow better and also have a great skin without um, any bad parts in the skin which makes sense because of the anti-inflammatory effects which is had and it also lowers high cholesterol and lowers high blood sugar so and it's for good for the brain health and just strengthens your immune system so i know people also use this mushroom when they fight against cancer or hiv but here we came to a point where I really have to say that not everything what the doctor want to give us is bad. If you are so bad ill, you should use what the school medicine can teach you and can give you the therapy. It's great if you have something out of the nature what also helps you, but please, so how do I tell you? So, you are all adults. I hope you know what I mean. When I tell you it helps to fight against cancer, this means not that you only should use a mushroom. You also have to go to other therapies. You know what I mean? It's just um, strengthen your whole body, your whole immune system. And the mushroom with his positive effects come to each part of your body and clean everything up because of the anti-inflammatory effects. And this can really help you through each situation. You can drink it every time and maybe it helps you to get ill. But if you are ill and you drink a tea from it, um, it helps you to go back to healthy again, you know. So I have a pot with hot water because I want to make a tea and I want to show you how it looks when you dry it. So just cut it in pieces, small pieces like this here or smaller 
and then also again cut pieces, let it dry at the window or in the oven, 50 degrees, with um, something inside of the door, a cooking tool that the door isn't completely cold and um, closed, and then just wait till it is dry. When you can break it and it makes it's uh, dry enough. So then you can just drink it as a tea. When you don't like the taste, you can put another tea inside, like peppermint or whatever you want. Or you just can mix it to a powder and mix the powder under your food. Then it doesn't taste anything and you have the healthy using. So like every plant medicine, you only should use it for a few weeks and then have a few weeks rest, don't use it and then start again. That you have no medication which is like each day in the year, make break between. When you have the Birken Porling cut in bigger pieces or found a dry one, you can also use it in a survival situation without any healthy aspect because you can carry amber for several hours inside of this mushroom. When it is dry like this, it's like leather and you can just put a big piece of amber inside and it will burn a little bit inside and then you just can carry the amber from one camp to the next camp. Because for example, you have, you, you can start a fire at the first camp because there was everything first perfect. And, but you have to leave the space and you don't know if you can get a fire started at the next place again. You can just carry it with amber, so, which is very great. Cheers to you, to your health, and I hope you never get in a survival situation. But if you get in one, I hope you find the beach pearling because now you know how you can use it and how it will help you in a survival situation. But I hope it never came to this point. Of course. So, and then once I want to tell you, some of you write me, oh, I watched your videos for several years and now I don't see any of them are new videos coming or not and I'm always happy if you press the bell. The bell is up there and the bells uh, just notificate you when a new video is out. It is complete free, just a notification at your mobile phone or if you want at your email. So if you don't see any video but you want to see more feel free to press the bell guys and girls. And I'm out for today and I hope we see us again in the next video. Have a great time. Bye!